how to sharpen ninja pencils okay let's do this we need a pencil a knife and a sharpening pad and a trash can wrong direction <laughs> here we go so this is a sharpened point the way pencils come when you bite them and that's okay but if you're drawing something more refined and you're spending more time then i recommend getting a sharp point like this so we're going to do that together now step one take off the wood and i'm going to go from pretty far back taking off the lead not the lead the wood and i want to create a smooth ramp okay so not something like this which is really steep and sudden but i want it to go gradually the length you choose is up to you on a softer pencil i would not go too long because <laughs> it will break sooner or later most likely on a hard pencil like a 2H you can take off quite a bit of wood and so two benefits of having a ninja pencil a long point like this are that number one you can see past your pencil and actually see what you're doing on the drawing with a regular point there's a lot of wood in the way but if you're exposing the lead like this then you can actually see better what you're doing and number two is they just stay sharp longer and you can draw in such a way that you twist the pencil as you draw and you can actually sharpen as you're drawing and keep these things sharp for quite a while okay step one complete step two sharpening pad i like these that have a little padding here to wipe and clean the pencil this one has a more abrasive sandpaper here and a less abrasive one here or coarse and fine i almost only use the coarse side some of you may have seen sharpening blocks that are like a whole block with sandpaper or abrasive surfaces on all sides i don't like those because they make your hands dirty <laughs> which is why i also have this guy so i can slide this in and store it like that by the way <laughs> this is useful I don't want to create a point like this where just the tip is sharp. I want to create a, create a point like this where it starts tapering all the way from the start. This is where the wood is. Right? So we're going to do that now. And to do that, I'm going to keep my pencil pretty flat. Right? Something like this as I sharpen. I don't want to have a steep angle because if I do that, I will just shorten my pencil. That's not the point. So I'm going to do something like this. And I will go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then twist. 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 And I'm putting my pressure towards the tip. Sorry, not towards the tip. <laughs> I'm putting my pressure not towards the tip, but towards the base, so where the wood is. That's where I want most pressure because otherwise, again, I'm going to shorten my point. You see also there's quite a bit of buildup. I'm going to save this over here, but you can also just tap it into the trash can. So you don't need to stop and twist. You can keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm twisting now. And I'm twisting 
now and I'm twisting now and I can already hear that it's a higher pitch sound which means my point is getting sharper and we can check by holding it up against a light surface and it's decent it's a bit sharp has some facets so I'm gonna go a bit more and turn more frequently and I think actually I actually have a bit too much wood so not not the best sharpening job I've done but it's pretty decent and you got to see the steps I hope the other one was a little cleaner a bit longer and don't do this right here that was another <laughs> test at the steep angle right it's better to have it taper continuously and that's it that's how you sharpen ninja pencils <laughs>